Uh, now, you went to New York. It was, what was the year, 1967? Yeah, uh, okay. 66, 67, yeah. Okay, which also, I mean, that was a pretty revolutionary time in American history. Oh, it was. I woke up practically the first day I was there and turned on the radio, and uh, they were talking about the strange thing that had happened. Uh, 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 there were uh, some soldiers going off uh, to Vietnam in the Grand Central S uh, Station, mm -hmm. and a whole group of young people had descended upon them and stuck flowers in the barrels of their guns. Right. Um, it was the, f yeah, it was the, the onset of the of the protest and the hippie uh, movement and yeah. all of that stuff and uh, I really uh, and one of the centers of that was a church a, a Baptist church actually Judson Memorial in uh, Greenwich Village mm -hmm. uh, that was a, a totally radical uh, church and and hosted a um, uh, a theater. Uh, they had actually turned the balcony of their church into a theater, hmm. uh, and they did these uh, radical uh, off-off Broadway uh, plays, and they also had a dance theater in that church, and they uh, uh, they um, had uh, were a center to organize protests and all kinds of things like that. Did you uh, ever uh, take part in any of that, or were you just sitting on the outside just watching? Yeah, I guess I felt like I was this Canadian, you yeah. know, that it it was not um, my battle, mm -hmm. it, but it, but I, so I was watching it and admiring it, mm -hmm. but feeling somewhat distant from it. Right. Now, did you meet anybody special? <laughs> of course. The first, <laughs> the first, the first day I was there, I noticed this wonderful. Uh, a uh, young woman uh, mm -hmm. who had grown up in uh, segregated South in, right. uh, in uh, Houston. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, she, was, uh, she was asking all the interesting questions when um, there were, uh, and so, and she was taking uh, one of, she was, I noticed that she was in one of the classes that I took. Mm -hmm. But she, this was Rita, uh, Rita Shelton, uh, who became Rita Shelton Deverell later. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, Rita uh, was taking, she, she, Rita had worked for the alley as a, uh, in Houston as an mm -hmm. apprentice right. because they wouldn't let her into the theater school of the theater. Really? Okay. Uh, because it was uh, whites only. Wow. Um, and uh, she uh, was studying, uh, she, she had gone to a university uh, in, uh, on Long Island right. and st studied drama mm -hmm. and then decided, uh, she, she had a drama scholarship, but decided universities were good for something else other than teaching theater. Mm -hmm. So she switched to philosophy. Mm -hmm. And then she always intended to be an actor, but uh, then she decided there was something religious behind theater. So she went to Columbia mm -hmm. to do a master's to study um, uh, history of religions. Right. Um, and so she was taking a course with Tom Driver about imagination and revelation at, at Union because they had mm -hmm. a cooperative. Uh, uh, with Columbia, cooperative uh, courses, yeah. so it would count towards her MA. Right. And that's where I met her. Uh, cool. And we, uh, uh, I, I fell madly in love. My head was spinning. Mm -hmm. uh, I manipulated things so that I spent the afternoon that, uh, that I met her uh, mm -hmm. at her apartment uh, reading one of the textbooks and uh, she invited for me f for, for dinner. And uh, she still had a bit of a Texas accent at the time. And when, <laughs> when, when she was standing over the uh, two burner grill that she had in her apartment, she, uh, she asked me what I thought of garlic. And I misunderstood, and I thought she asked me what I thought of God. And uh, so I went into a long discourse <laughs> about my theology. <laughs> 
And uh, she said that, that she was gracious enough to say that was very interesting, but what did I think of garlic? <laughs> and, uh, so, and was your uh, my, 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 uh, uh, both uh, my, my explanation. Well, I don't know which had the most influence. <laughs> my, my appreciation of garlic <laughs> or my theology. I hope At you any rate, uh, uh, we uh, went home to Aurelia for Christmas to mm -hmm. uh, announce our engagement, and um, which is pretty fast. <laughs> which well, we were actually, actually, uh, I think it was about a couple of weeks after I. Uh, met her, uh, I, I wanted to leave and just figure out what was happening to me. And she, uh, uh, she got worried that I was leaving. And I said, no, no, let's come for a walk. And we walked down by the Hudson River and we, we stood uh, in the shelter of mm -hmm. one of the public washrooms because there was a very bitter wind blowing off the river. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, you see how cold this is? Mm -hmm. It's colder in Canada. <laughs> As she said. <laughs> she said, yes. <laughs> uh, she, uh, later, she said uh, that uh, she, uh, she's recounted this story and said mm -hmm. she, she didn't know that we'd end up living in Regina. For <laughs> yeah. Of all the places in Canada to go, that would be a cold awakening. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that you asked me if I had met anybody special. Yeah. Yes. And you, so you did. <laughs> yes. And um, you both moved to Canada. We both came to uh, St. Thomas, where I was, uh, um, that's down near London, Ontario, mm -hmm. uh, where I was a pastor in a small home mission church for three years. And right. then I took a year off to write plays mm -hmm. uh, and never actually got back to being, never got back to the pastoring. <laughs> right. Yeah. 